All right, welcome back, folks. Now let's talk about the acronym problem, which is a delightful problem that involves using map, keep, and combine together. So the input is going to be the beauty and joy of computing, and the output is going to be BJC. And the input could be, in theory, any phrase, and the output should be the acronyms of the phrase. You know, USA, United States of America should be USA. Okay? And all the small little words that we, in our version, are going to be lowercase, we're going to strip out. That's kind of the way that we're knowing about these guys. So rather than saying, well, is it the length of the word? Is it on my list of words that are bad? We say if they're lowercase, that means we're not going to include them in the acronym. Uppercase we do, lowercase we don't. Okay? So how do we do this? And there's a state. There's kind of a stage. We call this the data flow diagram, where data comes in at the top. You see here, the beauty and joy computing as a list. And by the way, we write lists with parentheses. Just as if, if you're writing, rather than having this picture, which is the beauty and joy computing, if you want to write this down in code, we often draw it as a left paren, and then the lists are then separated by spaces. And if you ever have any element of a list um, that has spaces, you have to put quotes around it. So, but here, all the elements of the list are single words. You don't need quotes around anything. So the beauty and joy of computing. You first write it on a keep. The first guy you can think about is the keep guy. So we're going to strip away <coughs> all the lowercase words, or said another way, keep only the uppercase words. And I'm left with beauty, joy, computing. Then I pass that through the map filter. It's like a series of filtering. If you ever have seen filtering of water, they actually go through many stages. Water comes in really dirty. It filters this kind of thing. It's big pieces, then a smaller filter, and then a smaller filter, and a smaller filter. This is called the data flow. It's like water flow. Now we're doing data flow. So now the data flows into the next filter, which is a mapper. The next guy is a mapper. And the mapping guy is the next stage in my processing of the data is I'm going to now ask for only the first letter of each of these guys, which gives me a list of three elements, B, J, C. The last thing I do is combine with the join, which goes, takes a, which then, as you know from the, the last uh, mini lecture on combine, it's going to say B, J, C, and join is going to be between each of those. So it's like B, join with J, join with C. And however you parenthesize that, this one first would be B, J, and then that is C, and then that gets joined together and it gets B, J, C. So it doesn't matter how you parenthesize that, it just works, it's clean. So you get the letter BJC. And, and the result is, by the way, this was an earlier activity we asked you in the lab. Here is the explanation of how to do it. And there's the code. <clears throat> and the way you think of this cascading nature of these higher order functions, which is very common, is that the innermost guy is the starting point. So the innermost guy is the keep. Keep items such that, and there's a little bit of complexity of how we test, um, how we test whether something's lowercase. There is no simple lowercase thing. I, sh I could have written that, but I actually want to reveal how we do that, in which we ask for the Unicode value. And if I compare the Unicode value to A, that says that all of those, um, the letter one of the letter, so if I look at the first letter of a word, and I compare that with A, that says I keep the guys that are smaller than A. And the reason for that is uppercase guys are lower Unicode values than, upper, than lowercase guys. So it's like uppercase guy is the low number, lowercase guy is the higher number. It's kind of opposite of how you would think about lower, upper, upper, lower. So it means that it keeps all the guys that are not a lowercase a through z. That's what it keeps. Okay, including actually including this is not perfect. It really includes symbols and carriage returns and line views. It keeps all. Of it. it basically says you can't be in the uppercase or above that. That's what it's doing. So keeping all the guys, which if you just have letters and no numbers or just letters or spaces, it'll keep the spaces. Uh, if you happen to have spaces, and it'll also keep the uppercase guys. So it keeps the uppercase guys. But it keeps each word. It doesn't keep each uppercase guy of, the, of each word of the thing. It's, it keeps the item. So the word beauty, in the first one, so the is lowercase. So love, well, so the first letter T doesn't pass the mustard. So the is not kept. The next one is beauty. Beauty is capital B. It's Unicode of B, capital B, is smaller than the small a, and so it keeps that whole word, beauty. It's not like it keeps each letter of that, OK? So that gets passed to the map, which strips the first letter out. That gets passed to the combine, which then joins them together. And this is how you call it, acronym of sentence to list of the beauty computing, and you get BJC. So that was one of the solutions to the lab exercise. And I just wanted to explain that through that and think about the cascading nature of these higher functions as a way we often solve these problems, OK? Next, we're going to do, do, next we're going to do a demo. So we'll see you there.